Have you decided that now is the time to start that business, to get it off the ground, to get your ideas that you've had and get them out there in the marketplace and see what they can do? So today on this episode, I have a tip. This is one thing that has helped me when I think through my own marketing for my businesses that I want to share with you today. So if you're not getting the sales that you're looking for, if you're not attracting the right clients into your business, this episode is going to be exactly what you're looking for. So stay tuned. In order to live an extraordinary and abundant life, you must focus on your internal battle and win within. My name is Randy Wilson and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today let's talk about a secret that I discovered. I know it's not a secret. Uh, Once I share this with you, you're probably going to start seeing this in every piece of different parts of marketing. Uh, If you own a business or if you aspire to have a business, marketing is a huge piece of the puzzle that if you don't get this part right, you're going to struggle to acquire the clients. You're going to struggle to get the sales needed to drive the business. Marketing is a big piece. When I decided early on in my journey, uh, when I left the W2 world, that I was going to branch out and become an entrepreneur, I knew that I needed to study marketing, study sales, study copywriting. And by doing that, I've stumbled across a lot of fantastic ideas from a lot of very successful uh, business owners. And today I want to share with you one thing that if you can grasp this idea, this, this might be a little bit of a thought experiment, but if you can grasp this idea and really think through it, Think about it and apply it to all marketing Uh, when you're looking or watching TV or when you're listening to other podcasts or other people that are trying to promote products or services. If you can think about it in the way that I'm about to share with you today, this could be the difference that can totally flip your business and make it more more, uh, acceptable, more profitable, just a, a beautiful, beautiful thing. So let's dive in. So a lot of times, and you'll see this a lot on TV marketing. Everybody wants to focus on the features of, you name it. It can be a phone, it can be a car, it can be a computer, it can be anything. People, a lot of times in their marketing, which where is where it doesn't necessarily land with the consumer, is that they focus simply on the features of the product. And the big takeaway, and the big thing that I had to discover for myself was that if you turn your scripts and you turn your marketing over towards focusing on the benefit, the benefit to the consumer, what is the consumer going to get in return for giving you dollars, right? Giving you their their time, energy, and money in return. What are they going to receive? That's the benefit. When in your content pieces, when you're focusing on sharing your message, sharing your business with the consumer, the people out there in the world, right? With your marketing, you need to make sure that you're focusing on the benefits. So one story, and I actually just shared this story with my wife the other day. We have, we talk about this one little story all the time. And this is where if you can grasp what I'm about to share, this could really help you in terms of your messaging moving forward. So I heard this and, and maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't remember exactly who, I heard this from the very first time, but it made a huge impact on me. And if after I share it, if you know who who originally said this, please share it back with me. Let me know. I want to give them credit. I honestly just don't remember at this time who it was. But that message was that a person, imagine an individual and they have a problem and they want to put uh, something up on the wall. Okay. But they, so they go to the hardware store and they are looking at drills. And the mistake that a lot of people will make is they will start talking about the features of the drill, that it has this amount of speed and that it has this amount of, of bits or whatever the features are of a drill. That's not the point of the story. But the, the, the key point of the marketing messages is that the consumer is looking for something that will provide for them a whole, a whole, H-O-L-E, a whole. They don't necessarily care about the features of the drill. They want a whole. So that is the benefit. So in your marketing messages, 
speak to what your consumer, what the end user is going to get from your product or service, right? So if it's a coaching program, what can they expect to get in return? And it's really bringing those things to light in a vivid way, talking about it with some colorful language, painting visions in their mind, right? So a gentleman of mine that I've been helping with uh, create some products and services, we talk about a financial freedom blueprint. And it's a five-step process that when they go through this process, they're going to be able to find and select proven winners in the stock market that have the potential to have 100% returns and all it requires is a fourth grade math education. Simple math, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And with that, they're going to be able to find potential winners that is going to get them on the path to financial freedom. So when our in our messages to the consumers, we're talking about what does freedom feel like? What is it going to feel like when you're able to go do what you want to do? Hang out with the friends, have the things right? Whatever that message is, I'm not going to go into detail as far as exactly the, the exact message, but the point is, is then our messaging, we talk about what the consumer is going to get from understanding and, and purchasing the blueprint. And it's super powerful. So think about it with your messaging. If you're simply only talking about features, if you're simply only trying to get people feeling good about your message, right? You know, what does your brand stand for? What is the story that your brand has to, to convey out in the marketplace? Uh, another tip for, and I was having a, a conversation with somebody that has an idea for a podcast. When you come up with the idea and the name of the branding for the podcast, that name needs to convey to the consumer and the end user a benefit. What are they going to benefit from listening to your podcast. So for example, with my, the rich mind. So the idea with that title was that it's going to propel you to potentially increase the value within your own life, right? Through some financial education, through building a business and understanding that it's your mindset that is going to drive you into those categories of life that you possibly are looking for. That's where I came and derived that name, the mindset I was focused or the rich mind. I was focusing on the end benefit to the user. So think about that. The next time you're going to the hardware store and you're looking for a drill, understand that you don't want a drill. You want a hole in something. It could be a piece of wood. It could be on your wall. It can be whatever it is. Uh, so for example, even a lawnmower, we're getting ready to be in the lawnmower season out here in uh, uh, wherever, right? doesn't matter where you're at. But the point is, is that the features of the mower, the point is, is that you don't, the features are okay and the features will help bring maybe a few of your customers, but if you focus on the benefit of what is the consumer going to, how is the consumer going to feel after cutting that perfectly mowed lawn, right? How well is the mower going to do it? What is the benefit of your mower versus somebody else's mower, your drill versus somebody else's drill, your coaching service versus somebody else's coaching service, your podcast versus somebody else's podcast and start trying to convey those messages in every piece of communication that you have on social, when you're communicating with clients one-on-one, -on -one, in your email communication, really start focusing on the benefits. And I promise you, if you do that, you're gonna start seeing a, a return of, of great clients, of more sales, and who knows where that's gonna lead to. And that's, that's super exciting. That's been my experience. So folks, hope you found this message valuable. The idea is that you want to focus on the benefits to the consumer rather than the features. If you have a product or a service, or if you're even beginning to think about launching out a product or service, if you know that you want to launch a brand, if you know you want to begin offering products and services out there in, in the marketplace, you're going to need to learn marketing. You need to learn how to market yourself to the end user and do that by talking about the benefits talking about how it's going to make that end user feel once they accomplish whatever they're, whatever they are looking for, to accomplish through your product or service. And if you can convey that in a, a powerful, insightful, just in a great feeling way, you'll have more customers uh, coming to you. They'll be raising their hand, wanting to know how they can work with you. And that's when it becomes super exciting. So go out there, have a fantastic day, focus on the benefits, 
so start paying attention to marketing that's going on around you right now. Watch television a different way. Listen to radio and ad spots in a different way. When you're on social media and you see an advertisement come up, pay attention to it, critique it. Is it really hitting the benefits or is it just focusing on the features? And when you do that, you're going to start seeing a difference. And that is going to propel you to be able to market a lot better, which is going to get your business off the ground and really in a level that you really can't imagine even from today. So go out there, have a fantastic day. I look forward to bringing back the next message to you again very soon. Until then, bye now.